Hi, I'm Bea. My channel is about mixed media, art, journaling, assemblage, and anything else that sparks my interest. Hey all, welcome back. First, um, I have to repeat the process which somehow didn't go to the camera. Probably operators there. <laughs> I simply forgot to turn on the camera. Uh, I also have added just a little bit of um, embossing clear authentic embossing powders. It's kind of hard to see on camera. It doesn't pick it up. But in real, it looks a little bit like water droplets and that's what I want to show you how I did it. And just also to show you, even if you have already embossed, you can go over again with another embossing ink without um, destroying what you have already embossed. There is the myth out there that you only can emboss once, which surely isn't true. You can go over a second time. Uh, of course, you have to be a little bit careful that you don't melt too much from the previous, but usually it isn't a real big deal. Anyway, so the way I did it, I have already embossed and painted the thing. That's what I did over there. And I'm gonna drag lightly over the whole surface. I don't apply a lot of pressure, but I want some embossing ink obviously there. And then I'm gonna sprinkle it where I want it. And it has to be the coarse powder. In my opinion, it makes the best, best water droplets. And I just sprinkle it a little bit. And yes, it, I also sprinkle it a little bit onto the dragonfly. And then I shake off whatever is not sticking and then I go in with the heat gun. I'm gonna again I'm gonna speed up this part. I'm actually gonna try to zoom it in a little bit more. Let's see. I'm gonna add in here a photo. with the close-up so you actually can see the droplets because I'm not sure yes yeah, somewhat it picks it up somewhat it, it really is the effect of water droplets okay now on to the next step for those who follow me I was lately doing a homemade tissue paper and as an example I showed this one and I have never used it so I think it's a good idea to use it now. Maybe I can use that to cover up. It does fit the theme, I think. Maybe. Hmm. Question is, what do I take? I kind of like this mod. Is here. Okay, this page we're gonna do that. I also gonna add the gel mat to the top because I know I wanna add some uh, watercolor again. So and sometimes the finger are the best tools. <laughs>
The Tim Holtz paper, uh, tissue paper is uh, much more solid than the usual tissue paper you have, so I can really force it a little bit. I wouldn't recommend with your homemade tissue paper. They seem to be less um, strong, at least what I what I could have. So I'm gonna zoom out again. So. Now on this side, I obviously don't want to cover up completely, but I would love to have something a little bit uh, like a ragged, raggedy edge, so overlapping a little bit. And I'm still thinking about napkins. So hold on a second, I'm going to go through my stash and see if I can find a napkin that would fit my needs, <laughs> or so to speak. Okay, I decided to go with bit and pieces of this napkin. I'm mostly interested in the text part. And it's gonna be a little bit overlapping, like here. And which I think is okay. But here I'm gonna as small as the page, more or less as small as the, the leftover pages. I certainly don't want the Eiffel Tower. So here we have something like that. Yep, I'm liking that. So this time I'm going to use a Liquitex matte medium that is a little bit easier with napkins. I just add a tiny bit here. And then I go over the top from the middle. Okay, it is dry now, so what I'm going to do, what I often do, I use a, a nail file to get rid of the overhang. Like here, I want every piece of the butterfly. 
I use a little bit of glue stick and make sure that I have every piece. So first thing I'm gonna clean up those mediums a little bit which are on the plastic. Also the plastic isn't pristine. Uh, uh, it has like little scratches and things like that but I'm fine with that. So I want to add some stamping to the napkin and the plastic itself so that's why I use stays on and I use a purple to go with the butterfly I would recommend a really stays on if you want to stamp on plastic and I have this very old second-hand boat stamp I have no idea what brand it is so but I like the the wonky spirals Now I think I'm gonna go and add some color to the butterflies here too. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna lift it up a little bit so there is less glare. So that's what our two pages look like. Remember, we did glue the pages together to make them a little bit sturdier. It's not always necessary, but for that kind of work, I had the feeling it is better if it is a little bit sturdy. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye.